I think ordinary people can have outstanding vision, but uh, they need to uh, have those two characteristics, self-confidence, common sense. Vision without leadership, though, is useless. Without leadership and follow-through, vision doesn't count. Well, Jack Gifford had actually left Intersil in December of 82, but I left in uh, March of 83 together with Fred Beck. Many of us were at Intersil at the time, and we got purchased by General Electric Company. They were interested in some of the new technologies that we'd brought on board there and decided that uh, they should buy the company instead of licensing the technologies. We were put into the um, light bulb division of GE, and that's about as far away from the Silicon Valley mentality as you can imagine. Jack Gifford had been our president at GE Intersil. And when he left the company, uh, I think a lot of us felt like uh, it was time for us to move on as well. Fred and I quit first, and then um, during the month of April, we put together the business plan. Me being the engineer, I thought, well, the business plan should be 50 pages long. It should be as much detail as you can have. It should be, you know, the thicker the better. And Jack said, oh, no, that's all. That's total bull. Put together a business plan on two pages with a paragraph about each of the founders and one spreadsheet showing how we get to $100 million in five years, and that's all you need. The first venture capitalist looks at what the hell is this? He throws it down on the floor. He said, that's our business plan. He said, yeah, I know. I, I read it. He said, how much do you plan to raise? We said, about $5 million. He said, well, I'm in for $3 million. And by the way, that's the fastest decision I've ever made in my life. And that was the beginning. I mean, the three of us walked out and we were elated. In those days, we could have failed just as easily as we succeeded. Our products were important, but not as important as, as the people. The people made it work.